Hey, what's up? Hello, my name is Emma, and today I'm going to the Cassandra Clare signing in New York City. I am so unbelievably excited for this event. I am just like buzzing. I can't take it. It is going to be my fourth time meeting Cassie, and I just, I really cannot wait to see her again. It's for the release of details from the Shadowhunter Academy bind up, which I've obviously already read as they were published in ebook form, but I have to get the physical one and I have to meet her. If she's ever in New York City, you know I'm there. I'm actually taking my mom with me. I'm on the train right now and we're heading to a station that's closer to her so that I can pick her up and we can go because she loves Cassie as well. She's read all of her books, every single one, even the novellas in ebook form. Um, so she's just gonna gush over Magnus with Cassie, which is gonna be really, really nice. So I was on Twitter this morning and I had friends that were lined up at like 5 a.m. Like, oh my God, Frank and Pietra and Ashley, you guys are crazy. Apparently, like, as they opened, there was like 60 people online, which is so insane. I am lucky enough that I have been in contact with the events coordinator at the Barnes & Noble, and Fallon has just set this up to be the greatest day in the entire world. As soon as the event was released, she saved me a seat and a book and a wristband, and I'm just like so unbelievably grateful. I can't take it. Like, this is one of the coolest things to ever happen to me, to be honest, and so I'm just so thankful. So. Fallon or Burns Noble Tribeca, if you ever come across this video, I am so unbelievably grateful for your kindness. It's also really, really cool is I'm interviewing Cassandra Clare. <laughs> what? As if all of those amazing things Barnes & Noble is doing for me was not enough. They asked if I wanted to possibly set up an interview with Cassie and like my fingers could not type fast enough to say yes, yes, yes. So I'm hopefully, and I still say hopefully because I'm so nervous that something is going to go wrong. So like I don't want to get my hopes up even though it is confirmed that I'm interviewing her. But I'm hopefully going to before the event. So it'll be really nice to ask her some questions, to get a video for my channel, spend a little bit of extra time with her. So. We're just, I'm getting anxious just thinking about if this goes wrong, but we're, get, we're gonna stay positive and hopeful, and hopefully that's a video that'll come to you guys very soon. I'm really excited, really nervous, very, very grateful and blessed, and I am just like bursting with gratitude for today. I'm feeling so many emotions, and I just hope I can make it there without becoming a mess. This is Mama Books. Um, she's been on my channel before. You were in like that one really quick I was. For one. Yeah, your line was like, are you a little old? Aren't you a little, Aren't old, you a little for that? old for that? Yeah, exactly. Um, we're in the green room right now. This is where I'm meant to be interviewing Cassie. Um, it's like 4 p.m. right now, and my interview is supposed to start around like 5 o'clock. Um, so we're probably gonna get food because I'm hungry. Um, so but yeah, good. so far so good, which is good. Um, yeah, I just hope everything goes according to plan. This is literally the most beautiful bowl of mac and cheese I've ever seen. <laughs> Do. Simon, I felt like, was one of the only characters who was sort of left at the end of Mortal Instruments with a slight sense of unresolvedness. Especially in the sense that slight. Slight. <laughs> didn't, didn't remember his girlfriend or anybody else. Um, and I was like, well, we can't leave him like that. So um, my friends, Maureen Johnson, Terry Sprennan, and Robin Wasserman are like some of the biggest Simon fans in the whole world. Maureen has always referred to my books as City of Simon. And, <laughs> They had worked on the Bane Chronicles with me, so they were like, come on, you know, we've really got to do something equal for Simon, and so we came, but Magnus has lived for hundreds of years, Simon has lived for 17 years, so we knew we couldn't do the same kind of jumping through time structure, so we decided to center it around Simon's time at the Academy and sort of how he, how he grows and changes. George is like your best thing. Yeah, so Ooh. George is your best friend. <laughs> so forget Jace, forget Clary. It's all about George. Literally, yeah. George. <laughs> He's very Scottish. Oh, sweet. Yeah. <laughs> it's, great. it's great. And you guys bond over a lot of things. 
But, I mean, talk to me a little bit about building that friendship, because it's so crucial. He comes from that place of not knowing where he belongs, and he instantly finds a friend in George. Yeah, I mean, we wanted to build a, a solid friendship for Simon because all of the other people that know Simon, who he loves, like Isabel and Clary, and, and does love Jace in his own, her own special <laughs> way. Um, I'm sure they love each other, and you know, all the other, and, and Alec and Magnus, and you know, these are all people in his life that he cares about, but they all know who he was before. They have expectations of him, what he's gonna be like. They have an expectation of a specific kind of Simon that, that, that Simon doesn't remember. He's like, I don't remember that guy. And so with George, he can just be like, I am the guy that I am in this moment. And this guy's just met me. So he doesn't have any preconceived notions about who I am. And again, that must make him a really sort of universal plot device when you're writing. <laughs> like it's, sort of, it's sort of nice. It's like, how do we connect these two? Oh, Simon maybe could come in and... Yeah, I mean, like Simon is a, is, is a character who does bridge all the gaps. Yeah. Um, and so it was natural for him to, I mean, he started as a mundane, he became a down rover. It was natural for him to become a shadow hunter because I wanted him to be everything, you know, so that he would literally have had all of those experiences and it really informs who he becomes and even who he is in the dark artifices when we see him there. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so, we all were like, ooh, can't yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, there was a brief moment I was working on, uh, I was in Mexico and I was working on uh, City of Heavenly Fire and I woke up and I like came downstairs for breakfast and I was, I was like, oh guys, you know, like all my friends are there. Everybody worked on, you know, Tales from Shadow County with me and I, I was working on City of Heavenly Fire and I was like, I think I'm gonna have to kill Simon. No. Uh, they were like, what? And I was like, yeah, I just think, you know, thematically he's gonna have to die. And they were like, what? <laughs> I was just like, I know, major, major bummer, right? You told, told enough people. And they were like, maybe you're not feeling well. You have some cold medicine. And like, when I, I, came, I went to sleep. I came back, and I was like, what? <laughs> I was like, did I say I was gonna kill Simon? And they were like, yeah. I was like, oh, that's not a good idea. They did. Yes. No. <laughs> but that was actually when I was like, you know what? I am gonna take his memories away. So I think there was like some seed in there. Like when I was like, I'm gonna kill him. I realized that he actually, what I was thinking was he had to go through a major change, and I didn't know what that major change was. Gonna be. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Everyone, we're gonna start with like a. Come on, give me something. <laughs> and then can we start with like a low like. Uh, yeah. 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 Does that sound cool? Alright, ready? That's cool. What like inspired you to write this series? Honestly. Um <laughs> I had just moved to New York and I was kind of I had a lonely I had a crappy job working for the next the National Enquirer. Um, and it was one I wanted to do, and I always loved fantasy, and I was with a friend of mine. I don't know if she's here today. Her name is Valerie. And she took me downtown to a place where she had worked as a tattoo artist. And uh, she started talking about tattoos, history of tattoos, and how you know, for, in cultures like across the world, people believe they had magical powers to these marks on their skin to protect them. And I was sort of thinking about how universal myth mythology is, how in you know, cultures that have never connected with each other, we find the same myths, the same people, things that people care about. And I thought, you know, this is a really significant one. You know, you change your appearance, you change your skin, you change your powers and your magic, and that appealed to me so much it started to develop the idea of shadow hunters and that started developing the idea of this magical group of people who lived in New York and protected it from evil and whatnot. And so that that was how it started. It took me about two, two and a half years to write the first book and to be the series that kind of wraps up the story of the shadow hunters. I you know, it's fun for me too. Like I get really depressed thinking about it and I'm like, each book will be 600,000 words long. <laughs> <laughs> or not. <laughs> But two of the main of the characters that we meet in the Dark Artifices actually are the main characters of the Wicked Powers. But of course, we're also going to see the whole panoply of all the characters we've seen before: Jay's Barry, Magnus, Alex, Simon, Isabel, Maya, Bad, you know, Jay, you know, Jay. Because it's the big, you know, wrap up of of, of all of the sort of themes from all of the different stories. So. I don't know how they're going to do that one on television. Good luck to you, my friend. How do you feel about that, Alberto? Like. 
about the wrapping it all up, knowing because you've become such a fan of this movie. Yeah, but I also think every great story has a great ending. Like, it, like that, that's one of the. It, it's sad because you're like it's over, but at the same time, like it has to. If not, it's just. No. And there's so much story. That's like 10 years of television. Alberto's going to be like 50. He doesn't lose his memory. He's like, I'm the only vampire who does age. <laughs> How did I come up with the characters? Uh, are they based on real people? Some of them are based in part on real people. Like me? Um, people never, like, it's funny, like, when you, when you create characters, people in your life are always like, I, that's me, right? Like, that's totally me. Like, all the guys in my life were like, I'm Jason. I'm like, you're not Jason. <laughs> um, Simon is, like, literally, like, a combination of my best friend that I've had my whole life. Except she's a girl. And my husband. Like, if you mush them together, that would be sad. So, you know, like, all the, like, the geeky interests, the Jewishness, the glasses. <laughs> Um, but and it's funny because they both recognize they recognize the other person in Simon, but they don't recognize themselves. Um, people never do. Like, but you, I, it, I, and when like recognize themselves in a book. But I remember like my best friend's mom came up to me. She was like, Valentine's based on a real person. I was like, No, he's not. And she was like, He's my ex-husband. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> I was like, My best friend's dad. <laughs> no. Um, but you know people read into it. Uh, but like a lot of them are, some of them are just pure imagination, some of them are sort of amalgamations of people I know or historical characters or mashed up with fictional characters, mashed up with pieces of songs. I mean, that, I think that, songs. yeah, absolutely. Like songs makes me think of characters, characters, you know, that's like a little piece of, I always think it's like a little piece of sand that gets into an oyster and like irritates it and it comes in your brain and it rolls around until it becomes like a, a pearl. It becomes the whole character that you've thought of. Um, and so, you know, it comes from so, like, so many different places. But I would just say, like, if you are, uh, who, how many people here are writers? Okay. Um, oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. Um, I guess one of the most valuable things I've learned is never to, never to discount anything that you imagine. Like, if you think, wouldn't it be cool if this, oh, no, that's silly, or that's whatever, write it down. Absolutely, that's a that's a way of committing it to your memory and it will come back and it will be useful. And we're all together, and I'm happy. We're all crying. All of us. Every single one of us, we're all crying. Are we not? It was amazing. Was it not amazing? Yes. Yes. We have a lot of familiar faces here from other signings and some new faces. And we just have, we have a whole book crew, and it's amazing. And I love it. And if you're in New York City and want to join our book crew, we're always here. Come join us. Yes. So the event is over. We're currently waiting for our train. I had the most um, amazing time. Mom, did you have a good time? I had a really good time. Are you glad you came? I'm glad, I'm glad I came. you came. Um, so at the end of the event, I put in all the footage already. So that's basically what the event was. And I got to talk to Cassie again. I got to talk to Alberto and say how much I appreciated his dedication to the character of Simon. And so it was so lovely to meet him. And then I got to spend like a, an hour plus just talking to a lot of people. And it was so much fun. I'm really sad because I didn't get to say bye to a lot of people. Um, there were so many people we were talking to, like old friends, new friends. I just didn't get to say bye to everyone. So I feel bad. But I'm so happy I got to spend time with people today. Just all the bookish friends that I'm hopefully gonna see more in the future. And I just, I really, really loved it. All right, well, as per usual, I suck at ending vlogs on the day of the vlog. So it's been like two days, but I'm here now. I feel like I did not vlog enough at this event. I feel like a lot of it was like just footage and pointless updates. So I'm sorry about that. But I feel like for the most part, I was like really, really into like the event and talking to people there and actually listening to the conversation. So 
I'm sorry, I feel like every once in a while I'm entitled to just focus on the event. <laughs> but I realized that I didn't tell you about like anything. I didn't tell you how the interview went or everything. So we're gonna do that now and I'm gonna show you all the stuff I got. And I also have something exciting for you guys. So we'll do that now. So firstly, the interview went amazing. I am so proud of it. It came out so great and I cannot wait for you guys to see it. I have no idea what I'm going to fit into my upload schedule, but it's coming. It's already edited because I'm crazy and I just cannot wait to show it to you guys. What made me happy like above and beyond like getting to sit next to my favorite author and having her on my channel and asking her all of these questions was that normally when I do an interview, there's always one question with the author that does not go as planned. So like I'll be expecting them to say something and then like I won't get the expected response or they won't really be able to answer but that didn't happen at all with this one which was so exciting. So yeah the interview went fabulously and then we had the event which I showed you guys some footage from and then we had the signing which was really really nice. First I got to speak to Alberto which I was really excited about because if you guys have actually like paid attention to the Shadowhunters reviews Alberto has been my favorite from episode one. I think he is a fabulous Simon. I love his dedication to the show and he honestly makes it so much easier for someone like me who's just like so invested in book content to kind of come to terms with this new vision of the Shadowhunter Chronicles so I loved being able to actually tell him that and tell him how much his representation of Simon meant to me and he was just so sweet and the kindest person in the world I absolutely love Alberto Rosende and I really do love all of the cast as people but it was really nice to actually meet Alberto and get to talk to him and then I got to talk to Cassie um, one of the things I had forgotten to say to her beforehand is I just wanted to let her know that I went on the City of Bowens tour and she was like oh my gosh I remember seeing this because I tweeted it to her and so we just got to talk about that and she signed some books so I'll show you those now the first thing I got was actually a chapter sampler of Lord of Shadows and as you know um, I just showed you guys we got the cover reveal which was super super cool so this is obviously the before cover reveal like the placeholder um, but it's a chapter I don't really know what chapter it is I tried looking inside it doesn't say exactly what chapter it is I don't normally read chapter samplers but I do like collecting them because now I have a Lady Midnight one and a Lord of Shadows one so just like adding to the collection the first book I got signed is obviously Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy the whole point of the event and let me tell you this book is not easy to hold up so I actually didn't know that Alberto was signing books too so he signed my Tales from Shadowhunter Academy with Cassie which I think is so awesome like I have Simon signing Simon's book like that's super cool I also got Clockwork Princess signed so I'm starting out on my Infernal Devices signed books because it was like I have so many different editions of the Mortal Instruments series and yeah I do want all of them signed in the future but I should probably focus on getting the other series signed too so I'm only two away from having every full Cassandra Clare novel signed in one edition which is like so exciting so next signing like I can almost guarantee I will probably have all of her books signed which is so exciting <laughs> And then the final book I got signed, and the reason I got uh, three, technically four books, so I'll show you the fourth book in a minute. The reason I have uh, more than two books signed, because it was really only Tales from the Shadow Hunter Academy and one backlist title, is because my mom came with me and I bought a book um, so that she could join the signing line and get more books signed for me. So if you have parents that you can bring to book signings, I highly, highly recommend you take advantage of them and <laughs> bring them so you can get more books signed. It's really worth it, and I loved having my mom there, and she loved getting to talk to Cassie and Albert too but I also have Lady Midnight signed and this one's actually personalized which was just like the best and it was amazing and I'm so happy that I just have this one that just says for Emma Cassie Claire and it just makes my heart so happy so the final special thing that I have that um, I'm probably gonna put in the title of this video so you might already know what's coming here so um, because I had to buy two copies of Tales from the Shadowhunter Academy I figured why return it when I can give away a signed book. So I have a second copy of Tales from Shadowhunter Academy and a copy of the chapter sampler from Lord of Shadows. I have two and I'm going to be giving away one of those books and one of those chapter samplers to one of you guys. It's over there and I'm really lazy and I don't want to get up because I'm comfy and cold, but it looks like identical to the one I have. It's the same exact thing. It's signed by Cassie and Alberto and then you have the chapter sampler. So I'm going to be giving that away. I'm so excited. <laughs> Basically, I'm going to be running this on 
raffle copter as always if you've entered any of my raffle copter giveaways you kind of know how it works but the link is in the description it's really easy to navigate you just kind of put in different links and your name and other information to gain entries and you can better your chance of winning so that is going to be linked in the description of this video I kind of forget how long it was gonna go for I think I set it as December 1st so you guys have like the rest of the month to enter but it also is international I am going to sacrifice my money to send it to somebody if they happen to win outside of the US because I just don't think it's fair especially because us in the US were so lucky to get so many book signings and the people that really do want these signed books are the ones that are never gonna have the chance to so it is international if you can receive mail I can send it to you I'm pretty sure I don't really know how international shipping works but I would assume I can send it anywhere. So it's gonna be international. You have until December 1st to do all of those entries and some of them you can do one per day. So you can like rack up a lot of different ways to win. I am just so excited to send it to someone. I'm like really, really happy I have the opportunity to give away a book from my favorite author, a book that I loved so much to one of you guys who might not have the opportunity to meet Cassie in the future. And so I'm just really, really excited about it. So if you're entering the giveaway, let me know in the comments of this video. I feel like I do just want to talk a little bit more about the event and gush about it because I had such a great time. Um, the conversation was great. I really did love having Cassie and Alberto there. I feel like they have a really nice dynamic on stage. Um, um, and then after the signing, I get to just stand around and talk to friends for so, so long. Oh my God, there were so many people there that I met for the first time. But I had the best time talking to people. We were just like in a big circle for like an hour, just chatting about the event and book events and life and whatnot. And it was so cool. Honestly, like the best part of book signing sometimes is not just meeting the author and getting to see them and getting signed books. It's really the ability that you have to meet new people. Like I have like 10 people that like I was talking to in a circle and I was like oh like are you guys friends you're related and they're like no we just met today like that happened consistently throughout the event and I just think that's so amazing it makes me so happy to know that there are people who like will go to events alone and they come home with like five new friends I think it's awesome and I'm so happy that like we're all friends now and we all get to go to book events and everyone's gonna like hang out at whatever the next big book event is and it just it made me so happy to make so many new friends and hang out with so many old friends it was really like a, a wonderful wonderful event and I just needed it really badly and I loved it so much. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Um, that interview again will be up very, very soon. That giveaway is live right now. You can go and enter. I would love to see some of you guys excited about this giveaway because I am crazy excited about it. Um, I feel like that's, that's really it for this vlog. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will definitely see you soon for a new video. Bye!